fast you want to take your medicine? <coughs> One. Good job. This has been like my hyper fixation breakfast all week long. I'm still getting used to this light, but I do think that it looks better. But yeah, I've been eating this breakfast yeah. every day, all week long, Ooh. except today I used a different granola. So I normally use the Love Crunch granola and my Walmart was completely out of it. I bought this, which is Purely Elizabeth cookie granola. It's like chocolate chip cookie granola. And this is what I have been using, but I picked this one up yesterday and it's the double chocolate. So that's what we're gonna use today. But if you guys have these at your Walmart, they are seriously so good and it says it's baked with coconut oil you can taste that so if you don't like the taste of coconut oil you might not like this this right here tastes just like a chocolate chip cookie to me so good I also filmed me making this on TikTok so if the angles were weird or something like that that's why because I was trying to film for the vlog but also for TikTok I've went live on TikTok the past couple of days and the last time I did it I shared it on my community tab here on YouTube and some of you guys popped in there and were so excited so if you guys want to see me live I do that over on TikTok and I'm honestly starting to do it very frequently just because if there's a day when I'm not vlogging sometimes I just still have that urge to talk to you guys and going live kind of fixes that problem for me definitely make sure you're following me on TikTok TikTok. I'll pop it up on the screen. It's down below. All my usernames for here, Instagram and TikTok are the same. They're Courtney Danielle YT for YouTube. I don't really know why I did that. Actually, I do know why I did that. A long time ago, I copied OK Baby because that's how their Instagram handle was. So they had YT at the end of it. But it worked out because I've always been able to use that handle on any platform because it's not taken anywhere. We'll update on Bryce and Miles. If you're following me on Instagram or TikTok, follow me either one of those places, then you know that Miles actually caught strut from Bryce so now they both have it this TV is annoying me I don't know if y'all can hear it anyways so they've both been on antibiotics for a few days Bryce's fever broke for like a solid two days his fever had broke it spiked back up again yesterday I don't know I don't know what's going on and I know that a lot of kids around here have both strep and the flu or they just have flu the flu is going around a lot they didn't test them for flu but i'm a little curious if they have both because i feel like bryce's fever should be completely gone by now like he's been on antibiotics for so long so who knows and i started having a headache yesterday and kind of feeling like not my best today i woke up with like a pounding headache really bad headache i took something for it and so i feel a little bit better now but i'm a little concerned that i may be catching what they have which i've been here you know taking care of them so of course it's easy for that to happen. But I'm hoping not because I don't have time for that. I really don't. So we're gonna be winging it through today, okay? We're gonna be just doing our best because I have two, kid, two sick kids here at home and I'm not feeling my best either, but I really yeah, wanna get out of the house. Like I've been itching to get out of the house because I feel like I've been stuck in here, but we're gonna have to wait until the kids feel better. Also, I bought myself another crew neck sweatshirt. Look at me buying clothes for myself. I never do that, but it says be the light Matthew 516. A lot of you guys have been asking me like in my last vlog, the t-shirt I got, where I got that from. I got it at a Christian store that's just here in my town, but someone commented on my video and said they found a website that had that shirt. I'll go find it. I'll put it in the description box because they did have the same shirt. This I got from Eternal Light and I have some more t-shirts and stuff coming too. So I'll share those with you, but they're not from here. They're from, they're from a different website. But yeah, I just wanted to buy some more clothing items, even if it's just crew neck sweatshirts and like t-shirts and stuff. Cause let's be honest, that's what I wear. That's all I wear. You got strawberries on your hands? and in your hair, mm-hmm. Today may end up just feeling like we're on FaceTime, you guys, okay? So we're gonna make some coffee now because I've been trying to eat a little something before having my coffee because they say it's better for you. I don't know, coffee on an empty stomach's not supposed to be good, but you know, I've done it for years. But you know, we'll see. We'll see if, it, if I feel better doing it this way. We still have our light turned on. I'm loving how I can walk through the whole entire house and I'm lit up. Some of the places it looks kind of weird, but then other places it doesn't, I don't know. Like the kitchen light's not on right now and I just feel like this looks good. I'm just so tired y'all. I really am so tired. I feel like we've had, you know, we had Christmas break and then what have my kids been sick twice since then? I don't even know. Bryce had to stay home. I guess he was sick. I remember Bryce having to stay home from school and I was like a man. They just had Christmas break. Just started going back to school from Christmas break. I'm just gonna throw away all this trash. 
I'm gonna have to tell you guys to ignore the dishes in the background and I feel like I've had to say that every single video because every day there's just a ton of dishes. There just is. If you guys haven't been watching, I've been using half oat milk. Honestly, I've been using more of the creamer than I am the oat milk, but this is the maple brown sugar one. And I'm actually almost out, but I'm probably gonna get the vanilla one next time. So we just turn this on and it like heats it and froths it and all that. And then we have our Chiaro pod. If you guys want me to link this machine down below, I will because a lot of you guys have asked me which Nespresso machine I have. So you know what? I'm gonna link it this time. This has hands down been the best at home hot coffee I have made ever in my life. So basically I've only been leaving the house to get coffee if I just really want an iced coffee, but that's about it. Look at her, isn't she beautiful? We're using our little pink heart cup again today. Y'all, my nightstand is a little bit embarrassing, but I honestly, I had some stuff in this little container that my friend Alicia brought my gift over in the other day and Miles kept pulling everything out of it. So I put it in the drawer cause he tends to not get in here, but these are my three main things that I pull out each day. Bible, Bible recap. And then this is probably my favorite guided journal that I have. And then of course a highlighter and a pen. So I figured that since I talk about this so much, I would do today's reading out of it. Now this is a guided journal, but it does have something for you to read. I've really loved it so far. So I'm gonna read one of them to you and I can read the questions to you if you guys do have like a journal or something and you want to answer them yourselves, you can. So this one is called Following Him. It has a Bible verse at the top, John 10, 4. When he has brought out all his own, he goes on ahead of them and his sheep follow him because they know his voice. And then it says, I love you for who you are, not for what you do. Many voices vie for control of your mind, especially when you sit in silence. You must learn to discern what is my voice and what is not. Ask my spirit to give you this discernment. Many of my children run around in circles, trying to obey the various voices directing their lives. This results in fragmented, frustrating patterns of living. Do not fall into this trap. Walk closely with me each moment, listening for my directives and enjoying my companionship. Refuse to let other voices tie you up in knots. My sheep know my voice and follow me wherever I lead. So the questions really quickly, how does listening to God's truth help us respond to the world's opinion of who we should be. If you want to pause and write down your answer, you can. What I wrote down was, listening to God's truth helps us to understand that the only opinion that matters is God's and that we should live for him and not for the world. The next one says, John 10, 4 says that Jesus's sheep follow him because they know his voice. How can we be more intentional about listening for the voice of Jesus? And I wrote, walking closely with the Lord each day so that you recognize his voice. The last one says, what helps tune out others' voices and focus on God? Write a prayer asking God to quiet the voices of the world so you can focus on him. And then at the bottom, it just says, if you wanna read more, it recommends to read Ephesians 4, one through six. But yeah, I've filled out a whole bunch of pages in here. I love this guided journal so much. Probably going to sit and enjoy my coffee. Miles is crying and read some of my Bible. From the comments I've received, a lot of you either already have the Bible recap or you said you want it now because I've been talking about it, but I just wanted to kind of show you guys. So I did change my mind. I was just kind of reading this through and was gonna get to the point where I get somewhere that I am that I haven't read in the Bibles. Like, okay, Numbers. I'm pretty sure I have not read Numbers, but I've already read Genesis and I was gonna just read this through, but the deeper I got into it, I was like, mmm and I changed my mind. So I have opened my Bible back up and I am rereading my Bible along with this, but this is just kind of how it looks. Like if you're on day 21 and you're on Genesis 27 through 29, so you know, you read it in your Bible. And then this is just, if you guys kind of want to pause this and kind of see what it looks like, this is what it looks like. And it's just a summary and it kind of just, I don't know. She said that her main point whenever she was putting this book together is to kind of show you deeper into God's character with her little recaps. So I've really been liking it. So this is where I am because I'm I'm just rereading. I want to do this whole book and read the Bible with this as my guide. So that's what I've <laughs> changed my mind and I'm doing. Also, a lot of you guys have said that you're interested in this She Reads Truth Bible, which I always link. And I love the little extra pages that they put in here as well. I love, love, love this Bible. And then I got these Bible tabs from Daily Grace Co. So I didn't get them on Amazon or anything. You can get Bible tabs off of Amazon, but I just thought these were really pretty and they went with the color of my Bible. I think I showed you guys whenever I put them on, but yeah, I just wanted to kind of show you guys a little bit more of this. Miles has kind of just been like walking around whining a lot. My stomach has just started killing me. And now I'm of course wondering like, is his stomach hurting? Like, why is he 
you know, whining so much. So I think we're gonna try to lay down in my room, maybe take a little nap before lunchtime. Got some friends on in here. You want to? Thanks what we're gonna do. He's so pitiful right now. Maybe he was just tired because he fell asleep in like 30 seconds. Bryce is gonna actually eat, but I did make him a little quesadilla too. Sometimes I just do a simple cheese quesadilla for lunch, but I have to have this salsa to dip it in. So we're just gonna pour some on the plate. The level of exhausted that I am from trying to make sure that I'm staying consistent with uploading, but also constantly getting sick. Like I honestly feel terrible right now. My stomach, my stomach is hurting and I, I feel it in my back. It feels like whenever your cramps go to your back, your lower back, that's what it feels like. So I probably shouldn't even be eating this right now. I feel like every time I get on a roll with being consistent with uploading, especially the past few months, either they get sick or I get sick or both. And it makes it nearly impossible to keep up. And that's why when I woke up this morning, I still picked up the camera because I was just like, well, I mean, I can still share my day even if my day's not a fantastic day, but it's difficult sometimes. Like I'm literally in pain right now. I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be able to vlog of my day, which it's only 11 o'clock right now. And I filmed a lot for it to only be 11 o'clock. Also, I'm very conflicted on the lighting. I feel like I've looked at some back at some of the clips from today and I feel like I don't know if I like how it looks. So we'll just see once I have it actually on YouTube because fun fact, whenever you're filming a video on your camera, it looks one way in my viewfinder. Like right now, this looks fine. It looks one way in the viewfinder. Then when you put it on your computer, it looks another way. It usually looks lower quality on the computer because in your editor, it makes it lower quality. Plus it's blown up bigger. Then when it goes onto YouTube, looks different. So you never know like how it's gonna end up looking once it's on YouTube. But I hope you guys don't mind listening to me just like ramble and chat because I feel like that's all that this video has been. Not a productive video. No ma'am. We're just trying, you know, we're trying our best. I did post a TikTok. I filmed two TikToks today actually, but they were like real easy. Yeah, you guys, I think I am gonna end the video here. It might be a little shorter than normal, but I, I wanna lay down myself and take a nap, honestly. And the only reason I didn't go to sleep with Miles is because I was worried about filming today which is silly, I know, it's silly. I should just get some rest, but my brain can't handle if I don't feel like I'm being productive. So I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me. Please continue to keep all of us in your prayers that we feel better soon and we will see you in the next video. Bye guys.